So on your, I'll probably put you on the spot a bit here, thinking on your feet from other people looking to do similar things, like they're trying to drive social projects. I know a bunch down here in Victoria that are doing that, right? They're getting into the community. What's three things that you would suggest they really do to prepare in terms of making sure they approach those, the, you know, whoever they're targeting as potential sponsors, three things they could do to make sure that they connect and build that relationship value to potentially open the door. Absolutely. I think the first thing is to do your research. I think, you know, in the field of fundraising, prospect researchers are so valuable. And essentially what they do is they, um, you know, they align the project with the individual prospect, which means somebody who would potentially be a donor. Do they have the, the capacity? Do they have the money? Do they have the affinity, the association? You know, if they're a dog lover, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to contribute to, you know, Indigenous Australians. You know, and um, do they have the propensity, like has their history said that they are leaning and have this particular interest? And also just finding out who they are, like what clubs, you know, they um, participate in. Do they like tennis? Do they have kids? Like who are they as a person? So you're not going in blind. So that's one thing, do your research. Do your preparation, do your research. Right. Um, I think the second thing is in just engagement 101. You know, when you meet somebody, you build rapport. I don't mean to be vulgar, but I really think of it kind of in a sense like dating, right? It really is. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go there? I'm just going to oh, yeah, go there go anyway because you know how I roll. Nails training. Right? Go there. Go there, Bridge. It's, it's kind of like dating, Mark. It's the same thing. You know, you can take somebody out on a first date and you can ask for sex. Like, can you give me a million dollars? And you know what? You might strike it lucky, but nine times out of 10, it's going to be like, what? Yeah. You don't even know me from a can of paint and you want to get in my pants? What? It's the same thing. You don't... I love it. You just Ooh. don't, you don't do it like that. You no. court you date and it takes a while you get to know that person that person gets to know you and once they feel comfortable you know their values their go no go zone their boundaries what they want and then it just happens naturally it's I, the same thing in philanthropy i love it so number two let me just say that it's, it's exactly like the data including like you're gonna buy a drink and go home for sex it's also i think another one there is it's a bad date if it's all about you and not the person you're with, right? right. If you make it all about you. So actually be genuinely interested yes. in them, yes. not too eager to tell them about you, right? Exactly. I think that's part of that dating thing. That You got it. So that's <laughs> number two. And then number three, um, once you're able, once you have that relationship, what happens is, is it organically develops. And they tell you, what they want to support mm -hmm. at the capacity in which they believe they want to support. You might be able to kind of, you know, upsell it a little bit. If you want to achieve this capacity or this impact, we might want to go in this direction. That's fine, but usually it happens naturally. But even once you secure that gift, you still date. Yes. It's like once you're married, you still date your husband and you still date your wife. You still want to show up with the flowers. That's called stewarding. Yeah. And I would tell you, especially in a COVID environment where um, it's become increasingly challenging to fundraise, the people who I've married and I continue to date continue to support mm -hmm. you know, the initiatives that are important to them and important to me because of the relationship. I love it. I love it. Do your diligence, right? That research, yes. do your diligence, do the dating. Yes. And then do, do the diligence of keeping that relationship going after. Yes. The only thing I'd say to that, people will tell you, I would maybe say, make sure you're on to ask the right questions to allow them to tell you as well, not Absolutely. assuming the answers to that. But Absolutely. And that comes with listening. You yeah. know, you got to listen. That